السلام علیکم ایون اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو یور چینل دس از یور ہوسٹ رما خان جدون اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک آن اے ٹاپک وچ از ٹاک آف دا ٹاؤن دی الیکشنز ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فور ان پاکستان بائی دا ٹائم یو گیز آر ویئنگ دس ویڈیو یو مسٹ ہیو آلریڈی کاسٹڈ یور ووٹس آئی وانٹیڈ ٹو پوسٹ آؤٹ دس ویڈیو آفٹر یو ہیو ڈن سو سو دیٹ آئی ایم ناٹ بینگ ڈس ریسپیکٹفل ٹو اینی آف یور ووٹس اور اینی آف یور ڈسیجنس so that you can watch this video and just hear me out i just wanted to come here and say my piece that what i think about our elections so the elections which are happening right now a video on the general assessment of what i think and what i thought about the current situation what is happening inside of pakistan today so it does not matter who the votes to the bigger vote it doesn't matter which party you support it doesn't matter how you are casting your vote what matter is that you are sincere to your country you are loyal to your country i'm not just here to talk on the elections because we are in ai series i also want to talk about how much of a big hustle casting these votes in person is for the general public and time and effort to go to the polling station making that commitment is not easy and not everyone can do that because not all of us are financially stable and not all of us get the day off to cast our votes so i just wanted to come here say my piece and i also would like to know what you guys think so i would like to start off by talking about what i think about all of the political parties like not all of them but maybe the major 3 in the fights right now it doesn't matter whom you are supporting ppp pti pmln mqm tehreek e labbaik or any be it any other party what matter is that you know why you are voting for that party so i want to talk about why certain people want to stay affiliated to certain parties and let let least that's my point of view you can disagree with that and you can disagree with all of my opinions but this is a situation where all of us are entitled to have an opinion and all of us are entitled to disagree with those I would like to start by talking about Pakistan's People Party and what kind of people are affiliated to those that party. According to me, majority of the government people are affiliated with Pakistan's People's Party. By government people I mean the people who are serving in government organizations because Pakistan People's Party has always been the party of the poor, the party of the serving, the party of Pakistan. Whenever they come into power their goal is to make the life of the government employees easier they increase the pensions they increase the salaries they even give the benefit of extra employment in certain regions and that's what i think gives them a certain group affiliation when we talk about pmln i think that most of the people who are affiliated to pmln are from the industrial group because whenever they come into power we see a rise in the industrial economic of pakistan because they try to facilitate us with more industries better roads for better traveling which in sense saves uh, most of our times because the projects of metro motorway projects all of these are and were conducted and inaugurated by pmln you can have a disagreement with me but this is what i think that there is a major industrial business group who supports pmln in pakistan and if we move towards other parties like labbaik and uh, agp all of these parties also have their affiliated groups when i say affiliated groups i mean as in general public the people who are supporting these parties people like you people like me all of us we are categorized into certain groups for me i am categorized in the creative group or like let's say youth group or whatever you want to call it but there are people amongst you who are businessmen who are affiliated to agriculture who make their living with crop so all of us are designated to a certain category whether we like it or not and when we talk about pti i think the majority of people who are supporting pti are from the younger generation and to be honest as i could find some reasons for the affiliated groups for pp in the other parties i couldn't find a certain affiliated group 
for PTI. Aside from the fact that all of their supporters are from the Gen Z or whatever you want to call them. But the thing I would like to say is that PTI is being supported by the Gen Z and I don't think that that's much of a big problem because we are the future of the Pakistan. The youth is the future of Pakistan and the youth is going to make the decisions. But to be honest, I don't see any reasons to support him or any of the party because I don't have any reasons to. If I'm saying that PPP is doing this, PMLN is doing this, other party is doing this, PTI is doing this, how does that benefit me as a citizen of Pakistan? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. It's up to you to decide because you have casted your vote. You know who whom you have casted it to. And the fact is, I don't believe any of the political party which is going to come in power or which has come to power in the past really does what it takes to make this country a better place because first of all let's talk about why i think that none of the party or any political party has what it takes to make pakistan better because it's not the reason of the party but the reason of the tenure itself because five years i don't think it's enough time for one party to make credible decisions and lead this pakistan into a better state and i know I might be wrong, but the thing is, whenever a political party comes into power, they make their own decisions, they play out their own project plan, and whenever the other party comes in, they have a different mind, they think differently. Like I said previously, that each party has their own target groups who support them. So, in essence, it becomes their responsibility to provide for those as well. But the thing is, whenever a party comes into power, they lay out their plans they lay out their ground rules but when that five years tenure is complete and in pakistan we don't even complete those five years for a long time none of the party has completed its full tenure but the thing is when a, another party comes in to power they have their own rules they have their own set of instructions to follow they have their own set of groups to cater and five years is not a suitable time to decide how and where this country is going to be because let's take it to a basic spot whenever you go for an interview in a company they ask where you see yourself in five years they don't ask you where you see yourself in 10 years 15 years two years or one year they ask you where you see yourself in five years if i ask this question to whoever party is coming into power in pakistan where you see yourself in five years what is the answer that i'm going to receive the answer that I'm going to receive is that we will be fighting for coming to power again. That's not a healthy thing, I think, because I don't think like this we can ever move to a better state than we are in right now. So for me, I don't think our current system works for us, even the democracy part of it. I don't think it works because too many cooks spoil the dish and we as a nation cannot live in democracy we are the fools who work better when we are ordered to do something we have made up our mind that we are forever going to stay slaves and that's not a good thing because we are slaves we were slaves and i don't think we will ever escape this until we face it ourselves and how we can do that is by questioning ourselves and what do we want i don't think none of us has ever questioned us that why are you supporting that party just because they made some speech just because they said that they would do better how many times in your life have you heard that phrase by your friends by your family by your loved ones and how many times were you disappointed i don't think that we as a nation lack intelligence but we as a nation lack foresight we are so much indulged in fighting among ourselves that we cannot see a clear picture our vision is blurred out but you know whenever we are driving a car rain starts pouring and our windshield becomes blur that's what's happening to us right now our windshield is blurred out with the blood stains of all the people who get sent to their deaths because of this political venture every three to five years i don't think that we're going to move past this anytime soon aside from this fact I think the election process can be made a lot more smoother with the advancement in technology 
many countries have adopted the virtual voting system and like i said we as a nation are very far behind we are not up to date with the updated technologies and how can we we are fighting amongst ourselves we are fighting to keep power we are fighting to keep food on our tables the basic necessities of our lives are not you know completed how can we aim for advancements because there are tiers of getting something when you make 10k a month you try to complete your basic necessities when you make 50k a month you try to get better education for your children when you make 100k a month you think that now you deserve something for yourself you buy a car or you buy a bike when you are making a 1000k you think that now it's time to get a home when you are making more than that then you say yes now it's time to make myself my home automated let's set up a home automation system let's give me leisure time and we have not even crossed the second stage yet we are still struggling to meet our basic necessities and the other countries they are ahead of us by 2 to 3 centuries not even decades that's why they have their virtual polling systems you can poll your vote by the comfort of your home you don't have to wait in queues you don't have to go into the polling booth and in pakistan i don't think democracy is a way to go about it for now either we have a monarchy khilafat or a dictatorship i know some of you might come to my throats after hearing my last statement as right now we are we have too many cooks in the kitchen you don't have any chef so hear my words i hope you have casted your vote well and to the deserved candidate not because of any affiliation to any political party but because you thought it was the right decision and we will know in a couple of days who won who lost but one thing is for sure pakistan will not win but till then let me know what you think we are progressing as a nation and whom you have cast your vote to and if i have said anything and which is offensive to anyone i apologize till next time allah hafiz